have to recognize that change is always happening. And I can look back and see the, uh, the, the germination of these changes five, 10, 20 years ago. The number of things which are changing simultaneously, where that change is significant, is higher than I've seen in, in the 34 years I, I've been working here. We're, we're moving towards, for instance, curative medicines as opposed to treating symptoms. We're moving towards um, manufacturing, which is, is almost like science fiction fabrication, yeah, where a manufacturing plant could fit in this boardroom and still be manufacturing a, a billion dollar product. So we see, a, see, for the first time really in 30 or so years in the industry, a significant amount of turbulence in the way that we work. I mean, the, the pharmaceutical uh, model is based around you know, regulation, science, statistical certainty, the ability to forecast risk management, and it's, it's formed a fairly stable, well-established ecosystem. That is going to have to change, right? And it's gonna change because uh, questions around reimbursement are going to change. It's gonna change because questions around IP ownership are gonna change. It's gonna change because we're changing the way we run clinical trials. Patient expectations have changed. The way that we pay for drugs is based around it's very high cost for eight years and then it gets very cheap. That's going to change. Between now and 2030, we're going to see an inflection, a tipping point where the old way is still with us, but becomes uh, a minority and the new issues start to become the majority of what we see and what we do. So if we look at the, the tipping point, right, as we move towards curative as opposed to symptomatic treatment, as we're moving towards the ability to actually remove these diseases, the companies are going to have to behave differently, whether that's a pharmaceutical company or a medical device company or a hospital or whatever. Yeah, this is where ADL can help, right, because we do an awful lot of the work around you know, bringing in, doing the portfolio management, helping you with the uh, strategic direction, asking the hard questions and saying which answers would you like which, which answers would you like to receive right and then helping you achieve those answers because sometimes the, the answer can be influenced the you know you don't have to just be a, a victim so you can choose which direction things go uh, and how do you do that and that that's really our business to be part of the conversation so these are the hard questions this is where you have to think about it these are your options and this is how you can actually make it work out for you.